hi guys we're back and it's 100 degrees outside we picked this credenza up uh, for 25 bucks uh, like two weeks ago I want to say it's been sitting in a storage for a while it's pretty rough it smells bad it looks like something was living inside of it some time ago so we're gonna have to give it a good clean the wood is splitting on this side the cabinets are rubbing the drawers are rubbing it's coated with paint and some other stuff it is completely solid wood though which is great so we are hoping we can do something fun with it and the top is really rough We're not sure if we're going to be able to save the top to put some stain, but hopefully we will. I just realized the veneer is coming off. Same here. I kind of don't understand what's the point of putting veneer on solid wood. I guess the, they use cheap solid wood, it doesn't look good, but oh well. A bit missing here. Inside it's painted solid. I'm not sure if that's the way it was from the factory. This one sticking a lot. But yeah, luckily we have all the original hardware and we are pretty sure we can do something with it. We're not 100% set on what we are going to do yet, uh, simply because we are not sure if we're going to be able to save the top first, especially since I just realized uh, it's coming off. But yeah, we're gonna get it clean and then we can figure out what to do as we go. Looks like the base will come off, uh, hopefully there's no glue, but they used flathead screws, which I hate, and I don't see a point of using flatheads anywhere, but well, we'll see. So the whole base came off cleanly, which is amazing. Oh, that's actually not really solid wood. Anyway, yeah, it's gonna be much easier for us to stain it and uh, without, you know, trying to get in the corners and then mask it off. It's gonna, it's gonna give us much cleaner look and it's gonna be easier for us to sand overall. Let's go. So everything's pretty much disassembled as much as we could, which is great. Uh, we're gonna get to sanding and I'm going to glue the veneer so it doesn't break off even more while we sand. We already know we're not gonna be able to stain it because there's too much of it missing. But yeah, I'm gonna fix as much as I can. We are making steady progress. Uh, the veneer on top is already glued. This one is, is probably already done. We're using super glue, so clamping time is like 15 seconds anyway. Uh, I got found the nail sticking out on this side, which I'm guessing was holding the top, uh, but I cannot see where it was put in, so it looks like it was done like this in the factory. And there's a small gap in here as well, so I'm gonna use a small cut off tool from the uh, rotary tool kit. Cut this one off so I can uh, fill it down and make it nice and flush, and then I'm gonna figure out the way to secure the top uh, back on because, as you can see, there's a bit of play. So Mike just finished sanding the top. We wouldn't be able to stain it. There is too many stains and it's in a rough condition, so paint it is. Just a quick update. The drawers are already clean inside. They are ready to be masked. And there's some touch-ups of wood filler, which we're going to sand uh, just before painting. The doors are set up and drying. Thing is sanded. Uh, Aga is just doing a few more touch-ups on the body and I was trying to <laughs> screw this one together and I made a big hole. Today we're just going to mask the drawers and bleach the stand, the base, and that's it. Let's go. This is how the base is looking after like eight or ten um, bleach coats. I lost count. And again, I forgot to film um, 
when I applied how I applied the vinegar but it's you know pretty straightforward just spray 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 a little vinegar with water wipe it down it's fully dry and we're painting right now so this is just waiting for a clear coat and it's ready to go So here we are, we finished painting and we wanted to put the cabinet doors back on and we're having some issues with those, they just don't fit and we, we, I kind of knew we would have this problem with this um, credenza because when we got this the cabinets were really hard to open and they were rubbing um, here and here. We thought we, were, we would be able to adjust them but Mike tried so many times yesterday and today and it just doesn't work doesn't fit something about the dresser is off like the wood walls are not even and it fits in one side it doesn't fit on the other there's a big gap on on the top smaller gap on the bottom so we had an idea um, to leave the doors and paint the inside blue just to make it like an open type of credenza with three drawers and Mike's dad gave us an idea to try and trim a little bit sides of the doors and see if that's gonna help and we might do that also with this the, the edge of the drawers because like I said something about this dresser is not very even and straight and the drawers work pretty hard as well so we'll try to maybe do a little, a little cuts here and there paint it, paint it, you know, fix it up and paint it again and, and see how it works. If that's not gonna work then we're definitely gonna paint the um, the inside blue. We already had the filler ready to patch up the holes but yeah we're gonna try with the saw so let's go. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. I don't think we ever spent three days on any piece of furniture. <laughs> that was the first one. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't that we spent a whole day, but it was so many small things that we had to do and wait in between them as well that it took most of the day basically. But um, we actually are happy and kind of proud <laughs> we yeah. managed to fix it because the doors they didn't want to close, they didn't even fit in the in this in the in the rectangle square. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's either the whole thing is out of square, which it doesn't look like it is, or it's just expanded. I, I don't know what happened, yeah. but it was really strange. Yeah, we ended up um, trimming a little bit the drawers a little bit as well. Uh, they needed a little, a little bit a bit more space as well so they work so much better now and the doors close there is a bigger gap on one of the doors and you can see the magnet from from behind but i think it's better than it the no doors yeah <laughs> than the old old original it was either this or just taking the doors off completely sanding inside and painting the blue yeah and overall i'm really happy with the colors as well i really like the color that we picked and the bleached wood looks really well together so we paid 25 dollars for the piece on the marketplace the materials were probably around 25 and we're going to post it for around 300 325 somewhere in a 300 dollars ballpark on the marketplace and it took us about 14 hours to finish everything so yeah it took a lot it took a lot of time but the end result is really good it looks really nice it probably looks better in, in person than it looks on the videos and pictures yeah okay thanks for watching guys and see you the next one bye, bye.